Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. My hard drive broke last night. It died. This is the one where all the Steam game was kept, so I've had to reinstall all my games. Um, started making a <coughs> clicking sound. Took it out. It was really hot, like really hot. So yeah, we're going to have a burial for this. Might do a whole video where I uh, put it into a little casket and send it off to sea. Give it a Viking burial. It's been with me a while. Um, anyway, I'm off topic already, which is not out of the ordinary for this channel, is it? Um, Appointment with Fear is a game I picked up at the Steam sale. Um, the Steam sale's probably not on when you're watching this. Maybe it is, I don't know. But if it's not, the Steam sale's over. The game is priced at £3.99 if you're lucky enough to catch this on a Steam sale day. It's £1.59. Now, Appointment with Fear is the one I like the look of the most of a series of um, fighting fantasy adventures. Now, fighting fantasy was a series of books um, that was very popular when I was a wee lad. Um, very popular indeed. Choose your own way adventure books that our library categorised them as. Um, but fighting fantasy were the kings of the genre. Uh, now, these games, these games back in the day was literally books and you just get to a certain point and say make a decision and you'd check, go to page by page and you follow the book through. Always very randomly placed so you couldn't just follow it through and find the easy route. Um, lots of... Uh, decision making and stuff and forking of the plot very interesting stuff when i was a kid i was like this is amazing this is like books but they're video games they're amazing um and as of all the one i wanted to pick one up in the sale because i was talking to someone who's Sir hamish uh who streams you should watch hamish's stream um you should uh, anyway yeah um i was talking to him about these books and it gave me a jones to play one so i picked up appointment with fear which is the superhero themed one which looked like something i was very interested in uh, overall review is mixed, unfortunately. Uh, it seems like the audience of these books does prefer fantasy because anything that's not fantasy gets mixed reviews, whereas the pure fantasy stuff seems to get really positive reviews. So I'm not sure if it's about the engine or the gameplay or just the content they didn't like. But with a game where the content is the gameplay, I can kind of see why you go, oh, okay. But a whole bundle is £6 in the Steam sale or £20 normally. So, uh, what do I think of it and, and, and how much have I played? Well, I've played about five hours of it. But uh, yeah, I did leave the keyboard for a while, so I've probably played more about three hours of it, to be honest. Um, enjoyable, very enjoyable stuff. Very relaxing to play is probably the wrong word, to experience. Let's have a look at the game here. Um, as you can see, this one's more visual than uh, The Forest of Doom is the most popular one on the list. This particular game seems a bit more visual. It's also a little bit tongue-in-cheek and, and daft and silly. Like, he's got a, literally a crime watch that says crime. When a crime is happening which is just gold and you can click there and you get the next item in the menu and you keep clicking and you just one at a time get the items come then you get to these points where you get to fork and make a point in the story um pizza laboratories or to, uh, to peter laboratories laboratories laboratory laboratory i don't know or to the airport so let's go to the laboratory i don't i don't know um and there we go here you rush to the lab and sent straight upstairs to the third floor you just, oh, you have to click on oh, the picture. That's one of the things I found. If you click on the picture, it doesn't always seem to register. Um, and then you have to click. Uh, this is where the Alsatians, they remember this. Yeah. Um, this is where you have to click. And it sometimes doesn't register. So I tend to click outside the images to get a consistently working uh, consistently working interaction. And then we get to another point where we have to make a choice here. Um, is there any information you can give me so you can press more information or go after the dogs? Uh, again, I don't want to give too much plot point spoilers away because I don't think... In a game that's entirely about story, um, I don't really want to give too much away. So I've just sort of like dropped this video in the middle of a uh, in the middle of, of, of a playthrough, for lack of a better word. But yeah, and then there's a there's a big button up here. This button takes you back. So we just had the laboratory, so we can we can now click back, and we can start there again. We can click back again to go back another checkpoint, and we can uh, and we can from there go back to where we started again. You don't seem to lose any points as such. There doesn't seem to be any point system. Um, or at least as far as I can tell. So you can just go back and forth as much as you like. And then the three buttons up here, obviously, is a menu. And from that point, you can choose checkpoints, clues, map of the city, which is quite a nice touch. Quite a nice touch, isn't it, the map of the city? See? And you can... Yeah. It does a bit... It behaves a little bit weirdly. It's like you can, like, do all sorts... You can pull it around and it seems to mess with it a little bit and then close the map. They're not a massive bug, not, not a game-breaking Benny measure. And then extras, in the extra section we've got cards, achievements, credits, fonts and sounds, screen mode and main story, which is which is all pretty cool. And everything's going to have back to the story, but everyone constantly wants to take you back. Um, but yeah, it's all pretty cool. 
Um, it works. It works well. It works as I'd expect it to. Um, I really do like the artwork. It, it's a bit silly because when he's in his uh, civilian clothes, it's just this dude with glasses on. But you can pick your dude. There's a character creation. It's quite rudimentary. You just pick from a series of templates and colours. Um, but it certainly makes you feel a little bit more like this is your hero. Um, as I said, the plot's a little bit absurd, but you know, in a in a good way. And yes, I quit. And for the price I paid for it, one pound fifty nine, I'm more than happy with my purchase. In fact, before the sale's over, I'm probably going to pick up the whole pack because I've certainly enjoyed playing these sorts of games in Steam. Now, these ones do seem to be presented quite well. Um, there are these games on Steam called. I didn't prepare for this. Um, there are choice of games on Steam as well. Um, there you go. There's these choice of games. Um, and they're like they're more traditional text things. Like there's there's not a lot of graphics. It's all based on the um, on the text on these ones. Now I've not played any of these, but they look quite dry and a little bit visually dull. Where the fight and fantasy ones seem a lot more stimulating. That said, though, the writing in these choice of games is supposed to be excellent. They always get seem to get very positive re reviews. And there's so many of them, so many of them um, on Steam. So if you are interested in this genre then you can definitely check that out because, wow, it looks, I didn't realize it was that many myself, actually. Wow. Yeah. They're all individually quite cheap. And the, the DLC as well. Wow. Um, yeah, you get an extra campaign. Wow, okay. Uh, maybe I'll have to check one of them out next. But uh, definitely interesting stuff, the, the idea of a choose-your-own-adventure choose your own way adventure video game. Something I like, and I'll put a link to, uh, I'll put a link to the, obviously, this page uh, down below in the video below, as well as a link to Hamish, who's the one that got me thinking about all these games. So go watch him stream. He streams regular. I've been Hex. Thank you for watching. And goodbye, everyone.